Hi, I'm Scott Gerben, Crane Application Engineer for Siemens Industry USA. This is the first video introducing Siemens Simo Crane Basic Technology V5.0 for the Synamics S120 platform. Simo Crane BT V5.0 is a Siemens standard solution for crane specific motion control applications. It provides advanced technological control of all crane axes. It can be used with an S7-1500 PLC or without and be completely drive-based. This series of videos will focus on the drive-based applications. There are several product options depending on your application. The first option is a package which consists of a control unit CU320-2, a CF card, and advanced BT V5.0 license. The second option is a package which consists of just the CF card and an advanced license. Then there are two basic license options. One is a multi-axis basic license with a performance expansion CF card for control of more than three axes. The second is a multi-axis basic license without performance expansion on the CF card for control of three or fewer axes. You can identify whether you will need the advanced or basic license by analyzing page 19 of the BT V5.0 operating instructions. This page tabulates which functions are included in the basic license and which are included only on the advanced license. As this table shows, most standard or basic overhead bridge cranes or OHBCs will be covered by the basic license. OHBCs requiring advanced functionality such as position synchronization between two hoister cranes will need to order the advanced license. Overall, you should understand which functions your application will require and order the proper CF card package based on your specific application. I'll briefly describe the software structure of basic technology v5.0. This diagram can be found on page 6 of the No PLC DCC Library Application Note for BTV5.0. This diagram highlights the overall software structure of BTV5.0. To quickly summarize the diagram, let's first take a look at the main drive block or the main interface block included in the No PLC DCC library that allows us to utilize all of the crane specific function blocks while maintaining synchronization in the drive. This block's main function is to read in the status of the drive of the main drive commands, limit switch inputs, as well as master and slave drive statuses to properly enable or disable peripheral BT v5.0 function blocks as well as maintain synchronization with master and slave drives to which it might be connected. The remaining blocks shown in the diagram provide various functionality to the drive. The blocks located at the bottom left generate a speed set point for the drive or manipulate the speed set point for the drive based on the specific speed control of the drive. The blocks shown here at the bottom of the diagram combine to provide positioning control for the crane. Specifically, the actual position velocity, otherwise known as APV block, the target generator block, and the target control block combine to allow for positioning calculation and control in the drive. The pre-limit block, shown to the right of these blocks, can be used as a standalone block to slow down and stop a crane axis when it is at the end of its travel. The remaining blocks provide crane specific functionality where required on a crane application, such as the torque proving and brake test blocks. The only exception to this is the ramp function generator or RFG block, which is always used in every BT v5.0 application as this block handles the ramp up and ramp down of the drive speed set point so that this set point can be interconnected directly to drive parameter P1155 or additional set point 1. We will delve deeper into each of these groups of blocks in later videos. However, we will now briefly cover how you import the required materials 
to use basic technology v5.0 within the starter commissioning application. The first thing to do is navigate to the Siemens Industrial Online Support or CEOS Simo Crane Basic Technology v5.0 Libraries and Standard Applications page. We've provided a link to this page below this video. Once there, download entries 1 and 5 from either the TIA v17 or v18 links. Either will work since we will be importing these materials into Starter. There are other useful links, applications, and information for users to download here. However, the required materials are contained in links 1 and 5. These two zip files should be downloaded, stored, and extracted to a known location on your personal computer. Once these files are extracted, open Starter to install the basic technology v5.0 libraries. This information is covered in section 3.1 of the No PLC DCC Library Application Note. Open Starter and select Options and Installation of Libraries and Technology Packages. From there, a pop-up window will allow you to select Add to add the necessary BT v5.0 libraries. We will start by importing the libraries within the 01 BT libraries folder. Select each individual zip file shown to import each library one at a time. Once these libraries are imported, you will see them at the bottom of your starter library screen. Finally, we will add the last library necessary to use BT v5.0 within starter, which is the no PLC DCC library located within the application no plc folder once all of the libraries have been installed the starter library screen should show all three libraries at the bottom of your screen now that the basic technology v5.0 libraries have been imported into starter you should select and import one of the pre-configured dcc's covered in section 4 of the No PLC DCC Library Application Note. For this example, we will import the BT Basic Hoist DCC. However, you should import the appropriate DCC based on your specific application. Steps for importing the pre-configured DCCs are included in Section 4 of the No PLC DCC Library Application Note. However, We'll show the process here. First, right click on the drive object you are importing this DCC to within Starter and select Expert and Import Object. From here, select Browse and navigate to the application No PLC folder that was downloaded from Entry 5 in CEOS. This folder contains a zip file named DCC's script which must be extracted prior to importing the DCCs. Within this folder, the six pre-configured DCCs included in Section 4 of the No PLC DCC Library Application Note are shown. We will import the BT Basic Hoist XML file in this example. However, you should import whichever DCC best matches your application. Once this DCC has been imported, it will be shown under the drive object in the project tree. The final step when initially importing the BT v5.0 files into Starter is importing the BTS no PLC app script that allows for quicker setup of the DCC within Starter. To import the script, start by right clicking on your drive object and select Expert and insert script folder. This will generate a script folder within the drive object's project tree. Next, right click on the scripts folder and select export slash import and ASCII import. From here, navigate to the DCC's script folder again and select the BTS no PLC app 
script.txt file. Once the script has been successfully imported, it will be shown under the drive object in the project tree. Now you're ready to use Simo Crane BTV 5.0. If you'd like more information on Simo Crane BTV 5.0, a good place to start is usa.siemens.com slash cranes. In our next segment, we will look in deeper detail at the features of the BTV 5.0 software. Please use the link in the description to find our next video in this series.